Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Hasbro Marvel Legends series, Infinity Saga, Bruce Banner. Uh, got this in today, which will be two days, uh, a day and a half ago, two days ago from when you're watching this. I uh, had it on pre-order from Amazon with uh, Vision, the uh, boy, Void Build-A-Figure Vision. And um, I was actually pretty excited to get this. Um, mainly because I'm, a lot of you know, I'm a sucker for the suit bodies. I love the suit bodies, popping heads off and doing kit bashing and all that kinds of fun stuff. And this one is no exception. So let's dive in here and take a look. We got the Avengers Infinity War uh, logo up there. Marvel Legends series logo up, up, up there on the, the right. Up here at the top, Avenger, Avengers Infinity War, Bruce Banner right there along the top. There you can see Bruce Banner in all his uh, pre-hulkiness, <laughs> Bruce Banneriness. Uh, Infinity Saga, Bruce Banner. Uh, Hasbro, Aegis 4 Plus, Warning Choking Hazard, don't put Bruce Banner in your mouth because you might piss him off and he'll hulk out and then you're in real serious trouble. Uh, Avengers logo down there on the side here, we've got a multi-collage of uh, all of the Avengers there with the Infinity Saga up there and Avengers logo on the bottom. Same on this side. Uh, on the back here, we've got the Avengers Infinity War movie poster and a little blurb about that. If you don't know about that movie, those that that all that stuff, the Infinity War saga, I don't know where you've been. Uh, attention, blah, 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 jibbery, jibbery, legal jargon, ages zero to three, you know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right, you're welcome. Marvel, Hasbro on the bottom, Jibbery Jabbery, Legal Jargon, Houses of Klingon, and Barcode. All right, I'm going to bust him out of the package. We're going to get him on the pedestal and have ourselves a look. All right, we've got him on the pedestal. Let's have a look at the only two accessories that he comes with uh, because he does come with two sets of hands. Uh, we've got the fisted hands on him by default, and then we have a set of sort of splayed out, half splayed out hands. Um, very similar to the vision hands, actually, almost like casting hands. Ooh. Um, so yeah, you know, um, that's all we really got there. Uh, just two, two hands with, uh, uh, an in and out hinge. Uh, so yeah. And then there's Bruce. Um, I really like this suit body. Um, it's mostly reuse. Uh, looks like he stands at approximately uh, six and a quarter inches tall. Bam, right on it. Um, let's look. <laughs> let's talk about the elephant in the room first off. Um, this face sculpt, well, actually, now that I get it on the camera and look at it up close, it just seems like. <clears throat> is Ruffalo's face that? Tiny? Does he have really have that big of a forehead? I'm gonna have to go back and look because uh, I don't know. I feel like this face sculpt could have been better. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. It looks okay. I just I feel like maybe uh, maybe he got hit in the face with some pin particles and <laughs> it just kind of shrunk a little bit. It just seems really like his eyes, nose, and mouth are too small for the head. I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I, the hair sculpt looks great. I like the gray on the sides there, right by, right above the ears. Um, the the hair. I mean, it it looks like him. It it's not the face that doesn't. That looks like Mark Ruffalo, but it just seems like the face is tiny. I I don't know. You let me know what you think. Um. Got a nice purple, dark purple jacket. I love purple, as you can see. Uh, nice purple jacket. We got a light purple uh, and uh, gray checked shirt there. A little, little bit of a gray undershirt peeking out of the top of that where, the, where it's unbuttoned. Um, black belt with a silver buckle on there. Um, looking pretty sharp. Uh, some charcoal gray pants going down to some uh, black shoes. 
Yeah, I mean, he, he it, it's it's a decent looking it's a decent looking suit body. Um, my real question is how easy. Okay, yeah, that head comes off real easy, so that makes me happy. They usually do, and this is mostly a reuse. Um, I don't see anything new on here. It's the just the the pants, uh, and the shirt. I don't know about this. The the up the torso part might be something new, but I doubt it. I think it's just basically it's the same one that like the. Uh, the Spider-Man um, J. Jonah Jameson had on, like the uh, Tobey Maguire J. J. Well, the J. Jonah Jameson from the Tom Holland one where he was sort of like an Alex Jones character. Um, but, uh, yeah, we got the purple sleeves going down to his hands there, um, which are, you know, the, the jacket part's a separate piece, but the, the arms or the sleeves are obviously not. Um, I mean, that's pretty it, pretty much it. Um that's just, I keep going back to that face. I got a tiny face. Um, so uh, let's go over articulation. We all already know um, that we've got the static neck with the uh, ball hinge up at the top, giving us actually really good down, really good up, um, full rotation on the head, a little bit of tilt, but you don't get that with this unless you get you know the dumbbell and the neck. So. Um, they cut a corner a little bit there with that. This is not a figure where I, I feel like this should have had the dumbbell and the neck instead of this because you don't really need, it's not like he's going to be flying through the air, uh, or, you know, looking down brooding. He, he looks like he's pouting. He's like, oh, the Hulk won't come out. I don't know what to do. Um, but, uh, with the arms we've got, do we have butterfly joint? I don't think we do. No. Um, full rotation on the arms with the hinge at the shoulder going up to, ooh, that one's a little, ew. I always got to, these, all oh, these suit bodies always scare me right there because I'm always afraid I'm going to snap that pin on that, uh, on that arm. So I'm going to say right to there, you can probably get a little bit more on those, but I'm not going to attempt it. Um, do have a bicep swivel with a double elbow going all the way to there. Um, so that's nice. And then uh, with the wrist, full rotation on the wrist and an in and out with these, just same as the splayed out hands. Uh, down to the torso, mid torso, where we've got a hinge for some ab crunch. Good forward, not getting a whole lot of back because of that back of that jacket right there. Uh, legs all the way out to there. No drop down ball joint, but we've got a thigh swivel and a double knee going all the way back to right about there is where it's catching. Uh, and then down to the feet where we have detents on the feet and a forward rocker. And just like the suit bodies, you don't get a lot back there because that, that bottom part of the foot catches on the back part of those pants. Um, let's pop his hands off. I want to put these hands on him and which makes this nice because these these are hands are made to be swapped it's almost like they know it's like yeah people are going to use this for other crap um so yeah and you know as some suit bodies are they you you got a bit of an issue with those feet um Sometimes they don't want to stand up right. They want to fall backwards because of just the way that those feet are. But, uh, yeah, you know, he's, uh, it's Bruce Banner. Even, wow, even at this angle and this, uh, this far away where I'm sitting, it just looks like that head is too tiny. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Uh, so we'll, let's pop him off the, uh, pop him off the pedestal here. We'll line him up with some other characters and we'll see how he scales up. All right, here we've got him lined up with the Medico Moff X Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Imperial Stormtrooper Version 2, the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Mutt and Junkyard, and the Mattel DC Universe Classics Clark Kent. Thought that would be appropriate. Uh, another alter ego. Um, all in all, I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. It, it looks... It's it's nothing too fancy. Um, I'm, I'll give him... Uh, uh, I'll give him a 7 out of 10. You know, it's it's not it's not fantastic, but it's going to serve my purposes because it's going to have all different kinds of heads on it. But let me know what you think about that head sculpt. I don't know. I'm 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 torn on it. I'm I'm really on the fence about this head sculpt. I feel like that face is just too tiny. 
Um, but I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. But that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Or smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of my channel. You all have yourselves a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.